Hello boys and girls, right, in this uh, series of videos we're going to be looking at this uh, particular uh, exam paper. So this is the one from January 2017. Um, you should have a copy of this already um, in front of you. If you don't um, have a paper version or electronic one, you can access this from the uh, CIDO website. Um, I've created a bit.ly shortcuts for it, so if you pause the video here, if you're viewing this from home, then and, and just type this in Google, it should take you straight to the website. Once you type it in, uh, and be mindful about these letters here, which are um, obviously capital letters, so it is uh, case sensitive. It should give you this website here, and Excel's Level 2 Digital Applications Cider. And if you scroll down here, you'll see um, the different exams from the previous years. You've got the question papers in each section, the mark schemes, the report from the examiner, as well as the products, uh, the assets uh, provided by the examination board. Now, before you do anything else, uh, for any exam, the first thing you should do is basically set up your folders. Um, so, in this section, we're going to just do the folders. Now, when you start the exam, first thing you need to do is obviously create a folder, uh, an exam folder, as such, uh, for example. So. Uh, maybe you just type in exam uh, and just put everything in this folder. Now, when you see the assets folder in the shared area or wherever it is that it's saved, or if you're getting it from the internet, that's fine, from their website, just drag in everything from the assets into your new folder. Now, in here, again, you need to be organized. You need to be certain that you can find everything. And if you can find it, then examiners will be able to find it as well. There is a separate mark for how organized your uh, assets, your individual assets are. So why not actually have one for your web pages? And if you don't have this set up beforehand, if you put, if you create your buttons and you create your website pages and then make the folders and push them, throw them in, afterwards it's going to cause some issues basically you, you, you know the website themselves they're not going to know where these assets are because the location have changed so it's important that you do these folders first so I'm going to have a folder for web pages and I'll have a, uh, a folder for my buttons and I'll keep the assets as they are now in here um, as always you'll have the images you have the evaluation document the template which we'll talk about in a different video You'll have the info file, which uh, is uh, always the case for every single one of these exams. And then you'll find other items. So in images, obviously, it's just images. And then in this situation, in this exam, you've got some uh, sound files. You can see it says wave sound files, um, which obviously tells you that you're going to be using some uh, music uh, in some shape or form in this exam paper. So once you've got the web pages uh, and buttons folder um, created, you want to open Adobe and have it set out here. Now, as you know, you go to create and HTML. Now, bear in mind, I'm using Dreamweaver CS 5.5, uh, but regardless of what version you use, you use, it should be fairly similar. So click on HTML, it gives you a blank page. Now, before I go anywhere, uh, anywhere else, I want to make sure I have certain items in front of me. So for example, the ruler here, if you don't see the ruler at the top here and on the left hand side, you want to go to, um, I believe this view, and you find rulers and then make sure it says show okay and then we're going to start creating our web page but before we do any further uh, go any further you want to have this in front of you uh, because this is your check check sheet now before you start any exam and you start go into you go into the actual um, dreamy for software and you start to make your website you have to have a, a better understanding of what it is that the examiner is looking for what it is that they want you to create. And the only way you can do that is by reading this client brief, understand the, the different sections that they expect from you, and what they want you to do with those different sections, what they want inside of them, what needs to be changed, what needs to be added, what needs to be uh, modified, whatever it is. So you'll notice that they, in this sections, in this page, the paper, sorry, they have the page template, they have a section about format, so they want a certain image format, they want a certain audio format, um, they've got um, something called the shop front, which is an image. You can see it says a JPEG there, so, so they want you to do something with that. They've got a T-shirt image, PNG file, uh, which needs to have a hotspot, which we'll talk about later on. There's a, an area section called playlist, so there's a separate area that they're going to be looking at and assessing you on. And flyer, local DJs, and contacts. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the last page, 
just so you can understand the task itself. So they are, they are expecting you to create a de design and create a micro site. So it's not a full website as such. The name of this company, particular company, is called Impromptu. The fact that they're asking you to design doesn't mean that they need evidence of the, you designing it, but you will be provided some paper if you want to start, and it's always a good idea to do this, to map out how many things you're going to be creating and how they're going to be connected to each other. You will need to create a page template, yeah, to ensure consistency. You must include requirements uh, specified in the client brief, which is on the previous page. You should create a logical folder structure for your site files, which we've done here, assets, buttons, web pages. And in activity two, you will need to explain, you need to explain your design decisions, you just and justify your choices and suggest further improvements as part of your evaluation itself. So in this series of videos, we're just gonna focus on the activity one, which is the design and build, and then obviously test the website, the micro site. It's out of 44 marks, and then We'll talk about the uh, evaluation that's uh, activity two later on. So let's go on to the top and let's understand what it is that we need to do. So first things first, um, here we go. So there are four pages, home page, music page, DJ page. Notice how merchandise page is underneath home page, but it's a separate bullet point indented in. So that page is known as a child page or a children's page. Basically, it's, it's connected to this. It is from the home page that you access the merchandise page. So that's one clue here, but it's going to tell you this later on anyway. They want the content must uh, visible without scrolling, and the resolution should be 1024 by 786. 768, sorry. Facts about the impromptu file, uh, the website should be found in here. Assets that you know about, accessibility features, consistent design across the website, which if you do the template properly, should be pretty easy to do. So let's get started with the page template. 